Pebble Beach started the build, as they call it, at the beginning of June. All the things they need to put into place for a major championship, from temporary facilities to transportation logistics. Definitely a lot still goes into the championships, just a little bit scaled down and a lot more aligned with an AT&T Pebble Beach program. And a big part of that equation is volunteers, 1,400 of them needed for this championship, all doing a variety of jobs, and some are pretty technical. Laser-based operators, so they're actually tracking all of the shots for every single player. First time the USGA is implementing the so-called shot link technology at a women's tournament, and they depend on those trained volunteers. Fortunately for Pebble and the USGA, the volunteer pool is deep and experienced. 60% volunteer at the AT&T every year, and more than half were here for the 2019 Open. Marty Gears from Southern California is one of them. I get to travel and see golf, the, the best of both worlds. The hours are long and it is a commitment, but it's one these volunteers are happy to take on. It's a fun commitment. It's uh, just see a lot of beautiful people. Everybody's in a good mood, everybody's smiling, and it's just it's something I look forward to every year. And the folks running the tournament say this championship doesn't happen without them. 100%. I mean, absolutely not. 1,400 people would be absolutely irreplaceable.